Critics said too many claims were being denied. So to avoid decades of court battles and uncertainty, BP agreed to a more lenient compensation program. But now BP Vice President Jeff Morrell says the oil giant is getting soaked by businesses with losses that are not linked to the spill. We're talking about a wireless phone company store that burned to the ground and shut down before the spill. An RV park owner that was foreclosed upon before the spill. And I love this one, a Pontiac dealer who could no longer sell Pontiacs because GM had discontinued the line before the spill. Those are all real examples and they are people who actually got a check. Those are all real examples and are frankly not exceptions but rather emblematic of a far larger problem. There are more than a thousand claims just like them that had glaring red flags associated with them that should have been picked out by the claims administrator and instead were ultimately awarded more than $500 million. That's how BP adds it up, but the new claims administrator, Pat Juneau, says BP is getting what it asked for. Juneau's Deepwater Horizon Claim Center replaced Ken Feinberg. Same job, new rules. BP makes it sound like you're throwing millions of dollars away to people who have no stake in the oil spill whatsoever. I have an obligation as a court-appointed official by the federal court to implement what these two parties wrote.